Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. Today's quickfire Q&A is all about bones and muscles. Five questions, five seconds to answer each one. So question number one, can you name the muscles highlighted here in blue, yellow and green, which all attach to the scapula? All right, time's up. So the muscle highlighted in blue, which lies superiorly to the spine of scapula, is the supraspinatus. And the muscle in yellow, which lies inferiorly to the spine of scapula, is the infraspinatus. The muscle in green is teres major. Teres minor actually sits superiorly to its major. And question number two. There are no less than 22 muscles which have an attachment to the femur, the largest bone in the body. Can you name these five muscles which all attach to the femur? And time's up. So the first muscle is obturator externus. The second is popliteus. The third is one you don't always think of when it comes to the femur, so well done if you said plantaris. Number four is gemella superior, and number five is gastrocnemius. Okay, question number three. Can you name the most superior and inferior parts of the sternum? All right, time's up. So at the top of the sternum, we have the manubrium. And at the bottom of the sternum, we have the xiphoid process. Moving on to question number four. Highlighted here are four very important parts of the humerus where different muscles attach to. Can you name one muscle that attaches to each of these parts? And time's up. So the main muscle that attaches to the lesser tubercle is the subscapularis, which pulls the humerus into internal rotation when it contracts. Conversely, an example of a muscle that attaches to the greater tubercle is the infraspinatus, which pulls the humerus into external rotation when it contracts. The supraspinatus and teres minor muscles also attach here. Now the lateral epicondyle is where the common extensor tendon of many of the wrist extensors attaches to. Examples include extensor digitorum and extensor carpi ulnaris. And the medial epicondyle is where the common flexor tendon of many of the wrist flexors attach to. Here are flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor carpi radialis as examples. And finally is question number five. There is one very important muscle that attaches to the navicular. Which muscle is it? And time's up. And that very important muscle is the tibialis posterior, which has a major role in supporting the medial arch of the foot. And that completes our video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And for more awesome quickfire quizzes to help your learning or revision, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and keep watching Clinical Physio.